Anyway, I had to drink water from this bottle. That's covered in shit. There's a big chunk of shit right there. It was down on the floor, you know, in shit. And I have to drink it. I poured it in this cup. Here, I'll pour the last little bit in there. There's a little bit in the bottom of the deal. See? There you go. Just so you heard it trickle in there. You know? This is fucking ridiculous. Nobody wanted to help. Nobody wanted to do the jobs. I've been begging for help, and nobody wanted to help. And they were fucking doing their jobs, but they were doing their jobs at the fucking welfare office and all of this crap in a way that it fucks me. And I figured it out. <laughs> I'm not real pleased right now. All of this fucking little fucking goddamn bullshit motherfuckers, they don't have to do their job. They can sit there and motherfucking uh, talk shit about me eating a Cheeto from some fucking Weight Watcher crap that's fucking so stale nobody would eat it. Not even Weight Watchers. People eat the shit when it's fresh. What the fuck are you feeding me some shit that's fucking five years out of date for? Huh? You know? You want to say it's still good? Nah. I'm not buying none of your bullshit no more. I'm tired of people fucking trying to feed me crap while everybody in other countries and shit get brand new motherfucking food. Fresh shit. I don't see you giving them green peanut butter. So that a motherfucker will smell like fucking green peanut butter for a fucking goddamn week when they're crapping. And I don't see none of you, but I hear a whole lot of you talking crap. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. You don't work. Nothing. Nothing but just fucking running around partying and shit. And then fucking people off and then fucking stealing their shit and getting them fucked out of all their help and all their fucking medication. And part of it I didn't need before. I just fucking got rid of it. It wasn't nobody fucking listening to me or helping me. I try to tell doctors the shit was making me fat and they're sitting there fucking, I'm smarter than they are, <laughs> figuring it out that, well, if you're telling me that if I'm fucking obese, I should lose weight so my back won't hurt. And your fucking instructions for doing uh, uh, this fucking little crap that they do after surgery and stuff like that. And you're telling me this on TV and you're telling me everywhere else. And then I'm telling you that for some reason I keep getting fatter and I ain't even eating. And I'm trying to work with doctors. They ain't even telling me, well, change your diet so you lose some weight. Whenever I started gaining it. You know, they ain't working with the motherfucker. They just keep you coming back here. They're fucking mentally retarded, stupid motherfuckers. And he started in Wichita, so it ain't no better anywhere else. It ain't no better in Texas. You can't get no fucking health care down there either. But it's real funny. I got people fucking threatening me when they're coming down the stairs talking about somebody going to shoot you if you don't quit doing what, taking them pictures under the stairs or whatever the fuck it was you was talking about. Motherfuckers, uh... Or uh, taking the butts from the stairs or coming over there or whatever. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about or what you're doing because you're running around muttering shit. And then I'm fucking standing up there today, earlier. And I got other people talking shit about the same things I've been talking, but not on here. In my room. In my house. So that should tell you the United States government listens to everybody. And they'll single you out. The only thing I ever did was try to help them. It wasn't because I was crazy. It's because I knew it was coming. If you act like a bunch of assholes and you treat people like you've been treating me and I'm having dreams about it and I'm subject to have dreams that come true, you want to know what? <laughs> You're in big trouble. There's a whole lot of shit coming. Mount St. Helens, that already happened. I wonder what's going to happen next. I ain't telling you. I couldn't tell you because you wouldn't help me figure out the shit that I missed but you know whatever I was still dead on on Indonesia I was still dead on on Japan seems to me like I was dead on on Oklahoma City and I wasn't even talking about it other than I was in the Oklahoma City Hospital I don't know where the fuck I was at they said I was in Oklahoma in the city I don't know Oklahoma City whatever I don't care. 
I don't know what's going on with all this shit, but somebody needs to motherfucking put me where I get the fucking truth and what the fuck's going on with all this shit. Because I'm not nuts. I just don't trust you no more. After you lock somebody in cells, smeared with crap, no lights, until the last week or two, whatever it was that I was there, I finally get some lights. Then I got to hover over the crapper to take a shit, but I got a light. <laughs> you know, he, he put the wires together and he said he had to come back with something, but I had a light. You know, it's okay. It don't matter. You know, shocking and shit, and motherfucking, you can't have none. Fucking dark in there, you can't see shit. It don't matter. Nothing matters. You know, people talking crap, don't matter. The next motherfucker that touches me with a fucking car or hits me or something is going to get fucking dicked. And I appreciate politeness and fair warning and, you know, all that stuff. Talking about you don't want to run over me. Yeah. Or bump into you because you're rolling in a wheelchair. That's cool. That's people being respectful to each other. But these motherfucking shit-talking motherfuckers, that's all they want to do is shit-talking and they want to cross you out or... Or say they're going to do something. I ain't saying they got to do something every time. But they were sitting there fucking talking shit about some stuff. And you know what? I already know it was a big game all the way through. So, you know, it's the same thing with everybody else. That's all you do. That's all you've ever done when it come to me. That's all anybody's ever done. My own mother wasn't there. And then people are posting shit on Facebook talking about I'm signing petitions for dog abuse. And I go ahead. I'm also going to be telling you that people are motherfucking doing it to me. And you know, nobody want to do nothing. I'm, you know, they, they sitting there talking flat out like people don't matter. I'll do it for a dog. So I'm a dog. I'm fucking nothing, man. I'm a fucking goddamn piece of crap and nobody would do nothing. I don't know nothing about petitions and all that kind of crap on Facebook. I'm just barely learning how to use all this shit and still don't know how to use it to do what I want to do with it. But it don't matter how you put it all gets fucked up anyway because these freaking things has got touch screens and I got too much electricity in my body. It shorts it out and motherfucking makes it do weird shit and then the memory cards... They uh, do the unmount thing, and the next thing you know, the phone's doing crazy shit, and it fucking shorts it out. I've lost two memory cards that way. Following instructions. <laughs> I, I walked all the way to the Chevy dealership. Following instructions. Somebody told me, come on down. I'll give you some help. I, I was bitchy, kind of a little bit cantankerous about it, because I already know it's a fucking game, man. Somebody going to steal it from me? Or the fact that I have to fucking drag it around in fucking gut-wrenching pain all the time. They don't nobody want to let me have nothing so I can fucking go nowhere. But they all want to talk about, oh, well, you got transportation around here. I'm waiting for you to say that. Because the first thing out of my mouth is going to be this. You left me out in the fucking cold for six fucking hours. Nah, I ain't taking no fucking transportation. You fucked me out of a doctor. You know... Everybody playing games and not showing up to pick me up to take them to doctors. That fucking is all cumulative. Nobody wants motherfucking somebody that's a problem child around. And that's the way you did me today. You want to act like I'm a problem child. No, I'm not a problem child. I am tired of fucking suffering in pain and never having enough. My whole life, people crossed me out so they could have shit and I had nothing. I was a piece of crap. I seen a video with a little girl cleaning fish. I used to do that shit. Didn't nobody care. I had to go to work with people. I had to see shit I didn't want to see, do shit I didn't want to do. You know? But I'm tired of it. I'm tired of going up to the bank and, and they're charging me for shit and motherfucking, they ain't even supposed to be. It's their mistake. And then they're stealing my money. They say, oh, we fixed it, but they only put fucking like $8 back on the shit, $9. No, I don't think so. Whatever it is they're taking from me, they need to put it all back on there. It ain't just one month. It's fucking however long I've had the account. I want all my money. And I'm fixing to post this after I get done. If I go down there, you know, and I'm saying it now. 
before I ever even go down there. So if you're listening to me and you're fucking telling everybody what to do and what not to do and all this kind of bullshit, and this is the way I'm going to get treated, and I'm going to be treated like a piece of crap, people can change my shit and do whatever they want to and then rob me and then I can't have it back, I'll rob the fuck right back out of you. Oh, I'll be real nice and smile to you. Pretty. Real pretty with my yellow and black teeth. Yep. It's black and yellow. Black and yellow. I wonder where's your song about that. So bye. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. If you're going to fuck me, I'm going to fuck back. That's the way that's fucking shit's going now. And I'm going to be fucking hard. Real hard.